David, we're here at the Arts University in Bournemouth. What's the relevance of our visit today? Um, we have an open day today. It's called a Make It Workshop. Um, we're working closely together with um, Arts University Bournemouth and a, and a couple of other universities. And um, I think what, what's nice about this is it's, it's, it's quite an interesting application. So they're involved very much with prototyping, industrial design, um, innovative manufacturing. It's yeah. fair to say your machines are a perfect fit, aren't they, for, for this facility? Yeah, that's true. Um, I think what we like about um, this type of application is the controls are open to anything. So whether it's a sketch, whether it's a 3D design, um, a model, um, what, whatever it is really, a bit of reverse engineering, um, we can get from a concept to the first off finished part as quickly and easily as possible. And is it common for you to be having installations like this around colleges and universities in the UK? Is it growing? Yeah, we're finding there's a lot of interest. Um, we there's a lot there's some good investment in the right kind of vocational training, um, and I think you've seen uh, places like Kirklees College, Wolverhampton University, um, and so forth. There, there's there's a lot of opportunity here, and and they're training the engineers and the designers and manufacturers of the future. And, and I suppose the key to you is when students go through here and they go out into the big wide world and the the engineering community, they 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 want her code, do they? Do they? Um, I assume. I think. Yes, that that's that's been a positive, and certainly even speaking to the lecturers here, they they you know people move around and talk to other people, and and they immediately say, oh well, well I I used the Herco there, that's ideal for this type of work. Um, but but yeah, I think we're in when we're at an event like this, it's the enthusiasm for young people to learn and get involved in our industry. How about uh, winning the funding for these machines here, these Herco machines? Uh, this was part of a European Regional Development Fund, so it was money that was actually earmarked for Dorset because the government had identified that there was an issue in productivity in the region. And because our economy is primarily SMEs, we have about 90% SMEs in the region and about 80% of those are 10 people or less. So if you're going to try and grow the economy, you need to help those companies develop new products, new services. So is that something you're offering them now then, the local community? How does it work? If I was yeah, an SME locally, um, what would I do? There are different ways of going about it. One is we have access to all this kit in the workshop, so you can come in and use our CNC machines, 3D printers, CNC routers, uh, digital fabric printing, um, silversmithing, and you get free access to help create uh, your product. Uh, we also have match-funded grants. So if you're going to be spending up to £10,000 developing a product, you can apply to us and claim back half of those costs. Uh, we also have access to staff and students who are, you know, we have a lot of design, 3D and 2D designers and makers, and they can help you with different aspects of the design process. How long have these machines been here and has it worked thus far? what you're just uh, suggesting? Yeah, it's, um, it's been really good. Uh, the machines have been in since January, um, and we just, you know, we spent a little while bedding them in because it was a bit of a gear change for the institution. Um, and so we had to make sure that they worked properly before we went out to the community and said, hey, come in and, and start using them. Um, but the takeoff has been fantastic, um, particularly the 3D printing machine and the CNC milling, because it's stuff that people don't have access to, or if they do have access to it, it's on their day-to-day. -day. They, they need to churn out the parts to get the investment back. Whereas here, we set them up so they can be more experimental. You can try out one piece and see if it works. And does it help the fact that they're Hercos, do you think? Um, actually, yeah, because they are really easy to use. They're quite intuitive machines. They're very adaptable. The guys that run our workshop, they, they've worked from a variety of disciplines, they've used a variety of tool sets, but they're not engineers. They're coming from very different backgrounds, um, yet with you know, a bit of training, a bit of support, a bit of experimentation, they pick the machines up very, very quickly. A really good insight there, Frederick, from uh, Daniel as to how the Arts University of, of Bournemouth actually operates, but what's your role here? So I'm the lead technician in the digital workshop. 
Uh, I'm in charge of the, the full kit here, so we've got everything from laser cutters, 3D printers, CNC routers to the two Herco mills that you've got you know, behind us. Uh, what, would a, what would a day to day duties involve for you? So, how would the day start and how would it end? <laughs> so it's everything from machine maintenance to uh, helping students and external companies from designing their pieces through to uh, manufacturing, testing, prototyping, uh, taking those pieces out and finishing them off as well. We, we give sort of a whole service here. And your qualifications yourself, you've got a degree in, in model making, yes. uh, but no uh, sort of engineering papers or, no, no. or metal cutting experience. So how easy has it been to get to grips with, let's say, for example, so a machine tool like this? One of the main reasons that we opted for the Hercos is because it works on a Winmax kind of a system. So uh, it's very similar to just the Microsoft Windows based computer system. So if you can navigate through that, it's quite easy to work your way through sort of the conversational side of the, uh, the machines. As well as that, it's leaning a lot towards sort of toolpathing and programming, designing on CAD CAM. Uh, and again, that's just using computers. So I would say that they are a, still quite a, a very simple layout. You do still need some understanding of, of machining to use them. but. Yeah, there's a huge amount of material out there and it is quite easy to self-teach, self I suppose. I said at the start of this, where would your day start and where would it end? Uh, let's say we found out where it would start, where would it generally end? I'd like to think well. Uh, I, I, with them taking away a finished product, I suppose, something nice that they're happy with, that's what we'd go with. That would be the ideal end of the day.